Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Rush drops bombshell. I know the name of the spy the FBI put in Trump campaign. Legendary conservative commentator Rush Limbaugh has announced that he knows the name of the spy the FBI put in President Donald Trump's campaign. It's more like an operative employed by the FBI to basically entrap somebody who worked with the Trump campaign in a peripheral way, and it worked like a charm, Rush said on Monday. This will infuriate you. I now know who the spy is, Rush said during his live broadcast on Monday. I now know who the FBI was running in the Trump campaign, he added, promising his audience, I'm gonna tell you everything the spy has done. It is the most amazing story. It is a story of entrapment. When you hear this, it's gonna infuriate you. You're gonna realize how utterly phony this entire investigation of Donald Trump is. It's phonier than you even realize now. He then asked his audience, does the name George Papadopoulos ring a bell? Before explaining, George Papadopoulos is the so-called second reason the Mueller investigation or the FBI investigation into Trump colluding with Russia began. The first reason we were given was Carter Page. A FISA warrant, as you know, was secured to spy on Carter Page because of the Steele dossier. But nothing came of Mr. Page. Then, Rush explained why. Turns out it wasn't Carter Page. It was George Papadopoulos, said Rush. And do you remember what they said Papadopoulos did? Papadopoulos got drunk one night at a bar in London and started talking to somebody that just happened to be an ambassador from Australia. And Papadopoulos told this guy that the Russians had thousands of Hillary Clinton emails. The New York Times weekend story, New Year's weekend in 2017 to 2018, stressed that that is what actually triggered the investigation, he explained. Well, Papadopoulos was entrapped by three people, including the person who is reputed to be the spy, Rush went on. George Papadopoulos. 24-year-old peripheral member of the Trump foreign policy campaign team. He was a nothing. He was a nobody, which made him a perfect mark. He was a young guy who wanted to go places. Then, Rush identified the FBI's spy as a person connected to the Russians whose name is Mifsud. According to Rush, another operative had informed Papadopoulos that the Russians had Hillary Clinton emails. He explained, Papadopoulos did not independently know this. He was told this by a Russian spy or a person connected to the Russians whose name is Mifsud. Mifsud operates with the person thought to be the FBI's informant on the Trump campaign and the Australia ambassador. He furthered, Papadopoulos passed this information along as though it were his own. Rush explained, he was just trying to fit in. He was just trying to be a big guy. Papadopoulos telling this story to the Australia ambassador is what triggered this as news. Papadopoulos did not independently know this. He was fed this information. He was used to be a Trump campaign official to make the statement to the Australian ambassador who could then report to the FBI, DOJ, that a member of the Trump campaign has been saying that the Russians have thousands of Hillary's emails. He added, the whole thing was a setup. It was perfect entrapment 101. When Papadopoulos was questioned about this by the FBI, he lied about some things, and that's why, Robert, Mueller indicted him, convicted him and he was found guilty of lying to the FBI because at some point he realized what was going on. Rush explained further, saying, the informant and Mifsud implant the news with Papadopoulos that the Russians have thousands of Hillary emails. He continued, he's hearing this essentially from people working, unbeknownst to him, with the FBI and the DOJ. So, he gets drunk one night in a bar with the Australian ambassador, which was also set up, and passes that information along as though it's his own and he knows it as a Trump campaign person. That triggered. That provided an opportunity for the FBI slash D.O.J. To say the Trump campaign knew that the Russians had 3,000 or thousands of Hillary Clinton emails. When you know the lengths to which the Obama administration went to try to destroy Donald Trump, it raises some very legitimate concerns surrounding the power and overreach of our federal government, an entity funded by the American people, which is intended to remain neutral. This is precisely the reason the phrase drain the swamp was coined. Washington, D.C isn't just full of freeloaders who earn a government paycheck without doing much, it's also home to power players who have enough influence that they can do illegal things to influence a national election without ever being punished. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.